So instead of typing it out and really just going into my opinion about the debate tonight between Karen Handel and John Ossoff, I figured, you know, first time for everything, let me actually do a video and give you my opinion. Um, where do I begin? <laughs> uh, this, as we know, is the most expensive house special election, maybe the most expensive house election um, in history. Uh, basically 40 million from each side. Um, and I, for one, am getting sick and tired of ads from both of them. Uh, it's pretty easy to distinguish which ones are pack ads, which ones are, you know, ads coming from the candidate themselves. Um, but it, all in all, it's come down to BS on both sides. I would say if I had to give a winner to tonight's debate, probably would go with Karen Handel. She did suffer a little bit in the beginning. I think it took her at, until after the break to get her footing, but she came back swinging. Um, Ossoff came out but stuttered in the end. That comment by Handel about don't lecture me about health care, I think frazzled him for a few minutes, and he stumbled after that. Where Karen Handel stumbled in the end was the livable wage comment that is going to become a attack ad. Um, but Jason Carter, I'm sorry, excuse me, um, that's where I'm going with this. John Ossoff did become the new Jason Carter. Um, if you notice in the beginning of the debate, he did say, oh, well, I disagree with Barack Obama for not going into Syria. Um, that was after he said, um, yeah, I don't think we need more in intervention in the Middle East. And as you know, as an independent who does not have a dog in this fight, as you know, a libertarian, independent, whatever you want to call me, strict constructionist, um, that's talking out of both sides of your mouth. That's the same trap that Jason Carter found himself in in 2014. Um, this is very telling about the 6th District itself. Um, this is the wealthiest district in the state of Georgia. Um, there is, this district is trending Democratic. Um, as someone who does not live in the district but does work there, I do have some insight of what it looks like. This is a district where you're going to find Starbucks every half mile. This is a Ruth's Chris Steakhouse district, not an Outback Steakhouse district. The district is overwhelmingly Republican. Let's just say that flat out. They like Republicans. They hate Trump. Hillary Clinton did win this district. Um, this is a district that puts Republicans on notice because it's, it's a district Democrats can win. But John Ossoff, his messaging is not in line with the Democratic caucus in Congress. He would be to the right of Joe Manchin. He would be to the right of Colin Peterson. He would be the most conservative Democrat in the House. Uh, and that's just telling of really the direction the Democratic Party is going. Karen Handel would be an establishment Republican. She would be in line with your, oh, your, uh, oh, who would be the perfect example of this? Uh, your Cory Gardner's, your um, John Cornyn's, you know, your John McCain's, your your um, uh, who else? I mean, your establishment Republicans, non-Tea Party Republicans. She tried her best to really establish herself as an outsider. She's not an outsider. Karen Handel has been involved in government for the last ten years. Um, she has run for several offices. There really was no ultimate clear winner. Um, but I do think Karen Handel does have her work cut out for her. This is going to come down to the wire. No candidate is going to win by more than three points. Unless they stumble in the next two weeks, then, you know, the hat's off to whoever, you know, whoever messes it up. Uh, but that's my two cents. Um, hope you enjoy this. Hopefully more videos will come. Um, thanks, you guys. Have a good night.